So you Aries have the moon and the high priestess. So obviously you're pretty much ghosting a lot of people, right? Um, a lot of you Aries very much so are being uh, loners. That's my dog down there. A lot of you are being lo uh, loners because you're taking the time off to actually work on yourself and to build your skills and to essentially eliminate your own weaknesses. Uh, and the thing is that evidence of this is the high priestess and the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles represents taking application or action on what it is that you already know. The knowing is the high priestess. So you are aware of this now, right? And then the actual application of working on your skills and eliminating your weaknesses is the four of pentacles, right? Some of you may be asking yourselves like, okay, what is it that I mean by that? I'm talking about um, the things that you've, the priorities about yourselves that you put off for a while um, and that interacting with the with this person, like I was talking about yesterday um, or, or last night, more accurately, it showed you areas of your life that people can use to their advantage if you're not careful. So a lot of you Aries are now looking at that, seeing that, and seeing that as an opportunity to change for the better because it's not necessarily making you to be a more greedy or selfish or, or avaricious person, right? It's more so about just making sure that you don't, uh, you don't put yourself up there to be used and willingly doing it based upon, you know, blind trust. So a lot of you Aries are looking at it like, okay, what are the skills that you could build on? And the Knight of Cups and the Judgment represents how this is really, this is a very interesting reading because this is really about how a lot of you Aries around this time don't even necessarily want relationships per se. This is more so about a regrouping for you Aries in the sense of this is about you Aries trying to take the time off to understand what are the areas in your life that you could that you can do better right that you can figure it out that you can somehow do better for yourself so that it's not about it's 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 not about uh being used it's about learning how to free yourself see a lot of times people think that boundaries are about restrictions no right boundaries are about freedoms because when you allow yourself to be used and just anything goes, no matter what it is, you become a pawn in everybody's game, and which means you're disposable. So when you have boundaries, you are actually, <laughs> ironically, paradoxically, freeing yourself up from being used by other people because now you, you, are, you are developing your own common sense and your own identity and your own um, standards because now it's not about you being easily easily used as a pawn where people could just come in and play games with you and do all that type of stuff now it's like people have to actually take now people have to actually take consideration they know that if if someone is going to be like trying to run game on you they have to take into consideration that you Aries are the wrong people because you're so hard to use. You're so hard to run game on because you you will give. It's not to say that you won't give. You'll interact with somebody. But when somebody gets into the, the game plan where they want to use you like a pawn, now it's more difficult for them to do so. Now they find themselves being like, hmm, it's hard for me to use this Aries. This Aries is... This Aries is telling me no on certain things. And hmm, because you Aries see how it can end up backfiring on you, right? It's because you want to take care of yourself. You want to make sure that if you're going to put your trust into somebody, they're not going to use it by just or use it unwisely or recklessly by, by having you just throwing you into whatever and just having you out there as bait right and a lot of people like i said 
like I said in last night's reading, they're not going to like it because you Aries are very much so aware of what's going on and you're wise and you're hip to it. So now they have a problem with you Aries actually deciding, hey, you know what? You're going to start to respect yourself and not everything is going to be about saying yes just because you may like somebody. Even if you're not with anybody right now, you're developing those people skills to where you could be with somebody and still respectfully disagree with them. But the mere fact that, you know, the mere fact that when I say they, they're not going to like it, I'm talking about people in the future that approach you on that. Because no matter, because somebody's going to try to use you in the future, right? And, I, and I'm not necessarily talking about a particular person. I'm talking about in general. People, some people will always try to run game. You will have some people that will be honest, but then you'll have some people that will try to run game. You have to be aware of who's who. So I'm saying for future references, when people approach you trying to run game, it's going to look funny style for you because your boundaries will be set. So you will have healthy boundaries. And the things that the Seven of Cups now is about how, and not only that, but you're also, you're, that's my dog there, but also your, your, your approach to, your approach to, to dating is going to be different. You will not only have other you will have a lot of value. You will have more value, right? Because you'll know yourself better. So you'll provide other forms of value other than just your body or maybe money or whatever. But also, right? But also, you may be even talking to other people at once, not necessarily smashing, but talking to other people at once just so that you're able, my dog over here causing mischief, y'all, just so that you're able so now it's it's not a matter of multiple, you know, people aren't lining up to be with you. No, they are. The Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups is about how since that's the case, a lot of you Aries also have to understand that you're on the up and up. So when it comes to deciding, like I said before, it's going to be ironic because one of the things that you're going to have to learn to do is walk away from temptation. Because there's going to be a lot of people out here trying to tempt you, especially, you know, the better you are. I had tons of people try to tempt me into, you know, smashing when I already had, when I was already with somebody, right? Now, for the duration of however long or short I was with that person, I wasn't necessarily going to cheat. I wasn't going to cheat. No way, because... I was able to look at it and see it for what it is. And it's the same thing that you Aries need to do too. When you find yourself being on the up and up, doing better for yourselves, taking care of yourselves, people will people will give you offers, but the offer to hang out with them or to to Netflix and chill with them, if you know what I mean, people will give you offers, but is every offer on point? Is every offer valuable the answer is no but it, but the thing is that a lot of times people are going to give to you dysfunctional offers sometimes and again it's up to you aries to decide for yourself is this low budget netflix and chill they don't really care about you they're trying to make it seem like they do but then they don't and in today's world people are not even trying to make it seem like they care about you they're just letting you know they just want your body Right. But are you going to are you Aries going to get down with that? That's going to be up to you. So the justice now in the King of Cups is about how since that's the case. Um, that means that there's more responsibility on you, though. That's what the justice in the, in the King of Cups is about. That means that there's more responsibility on you, because if you find yourself in a situation with somebody who isn't even trying to hide that they only want you for your body or for your money because Aries, y'all like money, you know? Y'all are industrious, y'all like money. Y'all like to get money. So if somebody isn't even making it seem like they are interested and they're getting something from you, 
then obviously that's a huge problem because now the responsibility would be on you. Like, why are you hanging out with people that don't even that don't even act like they rock with you? So uh, let's clarify some more of these cards. Let's clarify the justice. Uh, for the two of wands, Hierophant, the four of wands, the death card. Yeah, the two of wands and Hierophant, you have to you have to choose wisely. There's more of a responsibility for you to choose wisely because you're wiser. You're supposed to be wiser now. Um, a lot of you Aries usually don't end up in this world with a whole lot of experience. And Aries can kind of be a little bit of a late bloomer. But whenever it is that y'all grasp that knowledge and that, I should say, that enlightenment, y'all usually got it and you got it pretty well. Um, so yeah, so there's more of a responsibility now for you Aries to choose the correct person. The Four of Wands and the, the Death card also represents, and don't be afraid, don't be afraid to, that's my dog staring at me, but don't be afraid to walk away from relationships or people that are obviously giving you terrible deals right people that are like i said you feel like you're in a power struggle with and you have to compete to get their attention and you're getting to know them but you have to compete to get their attention and they're always busy and they always got something else to do so that's pretty much it um comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video uh trying to get to 10k subscribers i have 96 36 um, less than 400. I think we have what? 364 subs to go. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Hit the notification bell. Set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.